Hello and welcome to Integrating Work and Asset Management to Oracle Cloud Service Cloud Session. My name is Vicky Feldman and I'm a Product Manager for Oracle Utility Global Business Unit Integration Team. In our session, we will discuss integrated solution, go over features and functions, and finally, you will see the actual integration. Out-of-box integration between Work and Asset Management and Oracle Field Service Cloud is built using Oracle Integration Cloud. This end-to-end -end integration creates single work order management engine. Integration solution supports multiple features. Work orders created in WOX are sent to OFSC for scheduling and execution. Information passed to OFSC includes a list of assets that should be worked on, required skills and materials, a list of service histories that should be filed. Activities are assigned to crews according to required resources. A crew uses OFSC mobile device to work on activity. Crew can install or remove the assets, attach and detach assets components, and perform other assets related work. Planned service histories that are passed from WAX are available on OFSC mobile device. They indicate which work should be done and reported. Crew files service history, reports time and resource usage, and completes a work. If additional work needs to be performed, follow-up work orders and work requests can be created by the crew from OFSC mobile and self-assigned for the subsequent execution. Work order created in WAX is sent to OFSC and appears in Dispatch Console. From the console, dispatcher can see all activities, the assignment and scheduled execution time. Capacity planning allows planners to see an amount of outstanding work versus crew capacity and move the work around. Routing plans contain the rules to use when deciding how to assign activities to resources. Dispatchers can see all assignments on the Jan chart, monitor the progress of the execution, and reassign activity if needed. Dispatcher can also trace the resources and see real-time position of each crew. Where my technician feature provides a real-time update of where technician is and how soon they should be on the asset location. Crew performs work on OFSC mobile devices. They can see all activities assigned for the day. Once they start working on the activity, they can see activity information, report crew or time and equipment usage, create service histories, compete activity, and send result to WAX. And now let's watch the demonstration of how the work on activities perform in Oracle Field Service Cloud mobile device. Let's continue our demo by looking at some configurations and functionality that's unique to and used by our customers in the utilities space. Oracle Field Service can optimize the planning, scheduling, and execution of multiple teams per project based on criteria like specific skills, resource availability, etc. Here, I'm logged in as Anthony Smith, a crew leader that manages a crew of technicians. He has an assisting activity already on his route implying that he's part of the team that makes up the EAST crew. The overall crew will be assigned work based on the makeup of the team member's capabilities and what's required for a particular job. Anthony realizes that for today, he needs to add a new resource to the crew because he had one member call in sick for the day. To do this, he'll click on Crew Management first. Anthony notices that Russell, one of the field workers on the team, has not activated his route yet, so he'll do that on his behalf. And now Anthony needs to add another resource to the team for the day. He finds Henry Hamill's record and he sets him up to work with the team from 8 to 5 p.m. Okay, now he's part of the crew today. Yep, here's Henry Hamill on the team. Anthony added Henry to the team just for today. But of course, it's also possible to create teams that span multiple days as needed to cover extended duration jobs or projects. With the crew in place now, Anthony opens up the activity. And he can see that it was created to address a power pole that's down due to being struck by a car. And all of the information about the incident was passed to OFS from a work and asset management system. 
This information includes the planned materials for the activity and what specific work skills and even inventory are needed. Anthony's crew needs to replace that pole, so let's assume that they're now on site. He can move forward and start the activity. And in this case, the next thing he needs to do is lock the activity. This prevents any other users from simultaneously trying to update the activity. Anthony's the lead, and this is his responsibility. In the Assets section, Anthony can see the damaged asset, the one that his crew is replacing. So here, he clicks the Replace button. Anthony can either barcode scan or enter a badge number of the new asset. I should point out that OFS fully supports single or multiple barcode and QR code scanning, and those options are also available in the installed applications. Now, doing a search and replace executes a lookup from the Work and Asset Management System. And here you can see that the broken asset got deinstalled, and the new one is automatically shown now as installed. Now let's take a look at the service history for the newly installed asset. This represents a great example of the extensibility capabilities of OFS's plugin framework to build out additional unique functionality. What we see here is a list of forms that were dynamically generated by the work and asset management system that are unique to this type of asset, some of which are required to be completed and some are not. This makes it extremely intuitive for resources or crews of resources to have everything at their fingertips related to assets to capture exactly what's relevant without having to guess or navigate through a cluttered mobile UI. So for example, if Anthony actually needed to close the street down, he could open the lane closure form to capture relevant information about that. The fact that that form was just completed is displayed here on the right. And once the necessary forms are completed, Anthony goes back to the activity details and then accesses the original asset, the broken pole. Clicking on that asset service history, Anthony sees that the asset management system requires that this form called failure to be completed before he can actually end the overall activity. Once again, this is all metadata passed to OFS from the asset management system and dynamically rendered onto the forms. Now that he captured all of the asset information, Anthony goes back to the activities details. Workflow dictates that he needs to fill out a timesheet for his resources because utility work like this utilizes activity-based costing which is then sent back to the work and asset management system. For this activity, it was regular time, day shift, and regular labor. And let's say it took two hours from 10 a.m. until noon. Then for each crew member, Tim will enter their craft because they're billed at different rates. Then he completes the timesheet. And if there was specific inventory used or other costs associated with the activity, they can be entered as well. Once he's done with the time and expense information, he clicks Complete All. And now, back in the activity details, he validates that all pertinent information has been completed. Now he can wrap up the activity. That concludes our session for Work and Asset Cloud to Oracle Field Service Cloud integration. Thanks for attending.